Hello, today we're going to have a look at Windows Update using the automatic route and also how to manually, individually download individual update packs. Okay, the normal way most people would do would basically have it either this way, Windows Update, okay, and that basically brings you to here. And then you would click check for updates, or if it was set to automatic, like for example, automatic over here, basically it'll automatically check, and then it'll show what updates have been found, and then it starts downloading. Okay, now let's assume we actually wanted to bypass this and actually manually download Windows updates. It becomes a little bit difficult because if we were to go to the Windows Update website, it'll basically redirect us saying, sorry, from Windows 8 onwards, you need to use this, the Windows Update. Okay, let's start here. The other way is to go to HTTPS, okay, that's a secure site, catalog, .update.microsoft.com that's the Microsoft site itself and the lucky little thing will basically come up to this page and now you'll need to install this ActiveX little add-on yeah click yes for that and now all we need to do is, for example, type in a pack number. Now let's take, I think it's a flash one over here. Uh, there we go. KB3049508. KB3049508. Click search. And that'll basically list it. Okay, now this is using the Windows Technical Preview. Okay, we're basically using the 64-bit version of it. So that's the one. All we need to do is just click Add. Go to View Basket. And then we'll come to another screen. That's over here. Click download. This little pop up will ask us where do we want to save our downloads. Okay, you can choose any folder you want. Okay, you need to give it permission. And then you could choose, for example, just save it to the desktop. Click OK. That's now being saved to the desktop. Click continue. Waiting. That'll go through the percentage, and once it's finished, it basically will be ready. We'll come back because we're multiple downloading at this point. Okay, and we are back, and that's completely downloaded. And we can close that. Okay. And then, basically, it's over here in this download folder basically creates a folder for each file and all you would need to do then is basically run it like a normal program double click on it and then it would install it yep that's fine we don't want to install it right now because we're installing it separately okay hopefully that's helped you thank you for watching